This is Lori with ArtInDesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this shield icon graphic using Inkscape. So let's open up our Inkscape and we'll get started. We'll go to File, Document Properties. We will uncheck Show Page Border and I'll drag this over here. Our Display Units, let's choose Pixels. Depending on your version, you may not have that. So let's X out of this menu and then we'll go to View, Zoom, one to one, we'll open up our Align and Distribute and our Edit Objects Colors Gradients menu. And we'll start by going to the Squares tool. So click on this, press Shift and Control, and we'll create a perfectly, let me uh, go to the Select tool. You can see, uh, you can see my mouse kind of glitching there a little bit. It might be because I'm recording. So let's turn this square black. I had no color before, so. Um, so let's go to our nodes tool and you'll see that we have a square here, a square here, and a circle here. So we're going to change this to a path. So let's go to path, object to path, and now you see we have four nodes that we can edit. Let's let's go to the select tool here and I'm going to give this a stroke. Let's give it a, a red stroke by pressing shift and the red color down at the bottom here. And we'll go to the stroke style, choose pixels, and let's make it eight pixels. Press enter. So you want it to be about that size and go back to the fill tab. So with this selected, let's go back to our nodes tool and down here in the middle of these two nodes, let's click to add one node. So double click and you'll get an extra node. Let's, um, <coughs> excuse me, let's press control and move this node down about here, about there. So anytime you make a mistake, just press control Z. So let's highlight over those two nodes and let's round them up using this button up here make selected nodes auto smooth and that makes that kind of fat so let's uh let's move these two out and um I'm trying to remember my shortcut i think it's the yeah it's the um beside your m key you'll have these uh like arrow keys press those you can do it individually but if you do if you just press the right arrow key beside the question mark Keep pressing it until it um, it fills up the the bounding box here, and that will space them evenly on each side. Okay, so let's go to our selection tool, our uh, arrow here, and then I'm going to I'm gonna just adjust the shape here. I think I'll make it a little narrower. Maybe I'll bring it down a little more. Oh, maybe I'll leave it like that. <clears throat> So let's right click on this, we'll go to duplicate, and I'm going to turn the fill off of this one. So let's go to the X on the bottom left screen there, click the X. And now we only have a stroke, but it's red. So we're going to change it to green by pressing shift and green. So now we have a green stroke, and then we have this. So control Z, control Z, I'll put everything back. So let's just select the green, the green on top, and we will go to path and dynamic offset and you'll see this little node here so what we're going to do is we're going to press shift and control and we're going to drag this in and we want we don't want to go too far we want to be on the edge of the red so let's uh let's zoom in here and then i'll go back to the select tool and mine looks pretty good but if you go too far you'll see you'll some of the black will show in the back okay so i'm going to zoom back out that looks pretty good and let's go to the black in the back here. Let's click on that and we will right click and duplicate. And let's turn it white. Actually, no. Let's take the green, the green object, right click and we'll duplicate that instead. And we'll turn that white, we'll give it a white fill and then we'll press X, shift and X to take the uh, um, stroke off. So we just have fill. So let's let's drop that down one level so it goes beneath the green stroke. And then we're going to we're going to go to our Bezier tool. So let's click on that and we'll start about here. And then we're going to click here. We'll click up here. We'll click here and then we'll click here. And we'll select this shape. And then I'm going to press shift and select the white object and then I'm going to go path intersection. And let's go back to their nodes tool. And if you guessed already, we're just making a bit of a shine or a shadow to go over our shield graphic. And where's our picture here? So this this is here is what we're making. Okay, so let's um, 
Let's go back to our select tool. So the white object selected, let's give it a, a gradient. So under the fill tab, let's go to the second one in, linear gradient. Let's go to the edit tab, let's click on this. And let's bring this stop down here. And let's bring this one, let's just outside the graphic. Uh, maybe I'll bring that one over a little bit so we can see it. Okay, um, now we need to Let's, uh, let's actually finalize some of this stuff here. So this stroke here, let's go path, stroke to path, and let's turn it white. And then let's grab this red one here in the back. You can either keep it red or you can change it whatever you color you want. I'm gonna match it to the inside of the graphic. So I'm gonna make it black and press shift and black. And then we'll go path, stroke to path, path, break apart and then click off the graphic <coughs> excuse me um, so now we want to with all that finalized we're going to draw a star so let's go to our stars and polygons tool click on that we'll come up here to uh, stars make sure you click that corners choose five and if you want a more sharper star you can choose 0.375 i'm just going to use 0 0.5 that'll give us a fatter star press shift and control create your star and Let's, uh, what did I make this? Oh, I did make it red. Okay, so let's make the red it red with a white outline. So let's choose, let's actually, this is a stroke, so let's go path, stroke to path, and then path, and break apart. So now you see these two bounding boxes. Click off the graphic. Let's go to the select tool, select the inner one, and we'll choose red. Okay, and uh, the outside one, let's turn that white. And you won't be able to see it, but let's group them both together. And now you can see it. Okay, so let's let's click on this again to get the rotation handles. And we're just going to rotate this so that the two points face downwards like that. And I'm going to click on it again to get the scaling handles. Press Shift and Control. We'll scale that down to think about there. That's pretty good. So let's, with this selected, press Shift and select the black background. And then we're going to align that, center it on the vertical axis, this middle one right here under your line tab. And that looks pretty good, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it below the shine. So click down twice, one, two, and that should get us below the shine. Okay, so that is it. That is how you can create this icon in uh, Inkscape. If you like the tutorial, please like, subscribe, let me know how you did with your version. And as always, thank you for watching.